hello everybody uh, today i am going to show you how uh, animal train attack using uh, vi battery so let's start the work please subscribe my channel for more tutorial so go to animal behavior master inside we create another custom event uh, name the event attack uh, player or something like that yes now again play montage and we will add attack in montage here i will select lion attack uh, you can use any montage you want and add sound here also please see my previous tutorial for understanding those uh, animation and montage so save everything and now go to our uh, animal behavior controller add a ai perception now ai perception we should add two uh, one is uh, ai site config and ai here in config and we should domain sense is AI, ai site yes now open it uh, detection by affiliation select both uh, select all the yes compile and save now uh, click uh, on target update a uh, perception and breath now make a variable boolean successful sense i name it default you can name whatever you like uh, the character actor is class to third person character <coughs> add the executive pin now add a function get blackboard set value as bool add the connection the boolean should be successful sense which we created and our key name should be well, make literal name we add the key name later i just make it just none okay yeah just add the has c player just copy the name and add here yes save save all and uh, create a folder create two folder one should be task and another should be services we need few uh, tasks and one service uh, move the two, two tasks which we created before on task folder now uh, duplicate it uh, like uh, five times and uh, go to our uh, behavior tree and create uh, add a service move to the service now name the service yeah, player is in range it will try to detect our player is in range or not now give uh, the name to every task it should be hmm, attack uh, attack the player yes the name is fine attack the player and this should be what the name i can give uh, chase the player yes and this should be uh, find the player and this should be um, what can i give update the movement 
or uh, update the movement yes it sound fine yes i think we have everything we need delete one we create one more save everything now we should add few variable on the services and task uh, first open the services player is in range it will determine if our player is in range or not so open it mm, where are we animal behavior controller no not here open it yes now we must create a two variable one should be mm, a float variable uh, melee at a range and another should be a blackboard is in range I make it float and uh, instant editable, editable and uh, make it uh, a blackboard uh, make it instant editable save and compile and give it like 150 you can change the value so now input uh, ai receive event receive a activation ai and uh, get uh, distance to and the other uh, should be get a player character I means our own character now add a branch at the greater than or less than value um, is in range and set uh, blood uh, board value as bool and add it and the value should be true compile and save our service end now we, we should make a few tasks compile and save I think I copy some of the code copy all of it uh, now uh, delete all and paste it now we just add few more uh, variable here uh, first of all we don't need to play montage we copy from play montage but it will uh, play different montage so we have to get the distance and uh, other actor should be pawn and uh, uh, greater than or equal uh, 100 or 110 I give 110 it will uh, came close to our player and play the montage so yes we should add a branch if uh, make it straight if the value is 110 meter uh, something distance from our character then they play the uh, montage otherwise they finish the execution so compile save uh, delete the montage we play different montage and that is attack montage attack player we add it earlier compile and save open it yes that one uh, we should know we we should know the time it's uh, almost one five second so we reduce the delay one five second yeah that's done we done it too mm, you have few more uh, tasks which we will complete go to the task uh, chess player now we will add chess player task delete this uh, make it just vector get the value get blackboard as vector make it straight now simple move to the location when enemy saw the character he just moved towards the character now finish the execution our this task is done too now we done it now we should open it uh, find the player so we need to change just uh, one 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 variable one blueprint 
I just add uh, get player character and at the uh, actor location. That's it. Uh, and the value we should reduce the value like 100 or 10. Uh, 10. Yes. So compile and save. Now we should do this. Update the movement. Delete this. And delete this also. Create another variable. It should be movement speed. It would be a float variable. Yes, float. Compile and save. Give a value like six hundred or something like that. We can we we can change it. We make it instant editable, so we can change it from behavior tree. So I cast to my animal behavior master because it's his uh, speed we are talking about or working about. So um, get character movement and set uh, maths walk speed. Edit. Yes. So save everything. Now we need to add a few behavior tree. So we should what to do? We should add a. We, do we delete it? No. Add it. Now we add a, a sequence. One more sequence. Add the sequence. Yes, sequence. And name the sequence it's like what name I can give it random movement yes it's fine random movement and it should be chase the player or attack the player or something like that uh, add a blackboard here blackboard value should has C player and he should be not set and the hours is it's both okay so we name it like chess player add a blackboard and it should be we should change has c player if uh, he see player he will run this sequence otherwise that sequence so add a service uh, which we created play, player is in or not now we should ask few tasks which we created before we must we must check that it's our task or not we can check that so find find the player update player movement Up, update the movement which we created we should add a update here also update the movement when they don't see the character they run or walk slowly so we make update here we can then Add a, save. add a simple parallel and we should add to task here also uh, this should be a blueprint chess player and it should be attack player yeah that's done now add a blackboard here too and the black uh, both uh, should be player in range target location and it should be like it's lion so I increase the movement like 800 and our find the player vector selector should be target location uh, and our service also should be player is in range or not save everything so save everything 
now we can change the update from here like 500 i mean when uh, lion is walking it's very you know slow rather than running so now you see there is a value on uh, we should delete the variable from here we don't need it and we should add a mesh into our attack player we don't uh, add it now add it compile and save save everything now if you if we play the game we see our uh, lion is randomly walking slow speed we can slow the speed more and after the 10,000 distance he will uh, yeah he see us and he will attack us he'll run uh, back of us and when he come close he just attack yes yes this is work you can see we run he just came and attack we run he just came and attack yes yes but we run uh, if we run more the lion is going backward so that's it for today bye bye everyone